Hello and welcome to video number six. Let's talk about powerful words because the combination between images and powerful words equals great content. It's simplified content, but it's enough to get your audience engaged. So images with motivational quotes are important. In fact, if you watch the videos beforehand where we you know, looked at images that were part of related pages, you would have noticed that a lot of the images that were getting engagement had a lot of motivational quotes. So this is the simplified content that you can create really, really fast that will get engagement. So we're going to show you how to find quotes that are appealing to your audience we're going to show you how to find images and more. Okay, so we're going to keep with the topic of knitting simply because we utilize that as an example in the previous videos. But what you need to do is simply go to google.com and do a search for these terms. So when you type in funny and then you put in the keyword, or the niche, then it'll drop down and it'll tell you things like funny knitting memes, quotes, pictures, video sayings, GIFs, patterns, t-shirts, and more. Now you have to get in the frame of mind of, okay, the people that are visiting your fan page, your Instagram, are they looking for funny? Are they looking for serious? What are they looking for? Now, what we like to do is we like to create a combination of in a variety of different things. We like funny, we like serious, we like different emotions. But if your audience is really serious, you might want to stick with just motivational quotes and things like that. But simply go to Google and you can do funny knitting memes. And memes are simply images with some funny text on it, as you can see here. And a lot of times you'll, you'll see things like 324, 146, best knitting memes. So that will give you some ideas on different content pieces that you can create. Now, obviously, as I said earlier, do not plagiarize, do not copy it as it is exact but you can always rewrite it in your own words. You can always use similar images and things like that. Another keyword term that we would recommend that you use is motivational quotes or even quotes space, the keyword of your niche. So as you can see, motivational quotes, knitting, we can see other variety of search terms here. But if you scroll down, you'll see other things like this. 167 best knitting quote images, 25 best motivational knitting quotes, and all this. So what you're trying to do is simply for now, get an idea of the images. And again, look for patterns. So are you seeing a similar color being used or a similar word being used? Things like that will stand out and will enable you to create content pieces in the form of images that are really engaging. All right, so for example, let's go ahead and we'll just open this one up here. And Pinterest is actually a great place to go to to find a variety of uh, quotes, words, and things like that. A lot of times you'll find people who create specific boards and they'll pin them and they'll have a huge, huge list of quotes and words that you can use. So as you go through here, like I said, don't copy it, but get an idea. And what I recommend is, again, just like what we did with Facebook pages, look for images that are getting high engagement, meaning high pins and all that. And look for content pieces that have less words. Actually, the less words, the better. So that's one way of going about doing this. 
and that's it. So that's as simple as it gets. All right. So now let's move on to the next video.